admit that the cooking is strange. But what do we care? We just want to be there. I'm on the range with you. So what if John does the cooking and Barbara does the stirring? We like what we see, so keep on occurring. I'm on the range with you. Stan the Trash Man is watching the scene and making real sure that everything's clean. Brother Robert is there, so you won't go anywhere. You better because security is tight. Big Al telling folks they better laugh at his jokes and Manuel and Ken are the other two men who help you get going so we can start showing. Home on the range, home on the range with you. So Barbara, don't be late. John Hurd has got to tape. Mama Jean's at the gate and you better not be late. The audience is waiting and anticipating. It's time to start the show and we really gotta go too. Home on the range, What I brought is the Magic 8 Ball, so I wanted to ask it tonight, is John's dinner going to be edible by the crowd this evening? So, and it comes up, yes! All right. Look at there. Yay! Look at there. It says something. You want, you want to ask it a question? No, I better not. I would, I would be embarrassed. <laughs> well, right now, folks, I want you to put your hands together. Let's welcome the stars of At Home on the Range, Mr. John Crean and Ms. Barbara Venezia. Bring it on! All right, all right. This crowd is rowdy. It must have been that eight ball of Big Al's that he was using. No, I think they've been drinking. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, welcome to the garage. And of course, our show is sponsored by the best grocery store in Southern California, Ralph's. All right, all right, Ralph's. Ralph's, right here, Ralph. All right. And you know, we also have our other sponsor, which I'll tell you, if you have stinky pooky breath, breath assure is what you need. <laughs> Just look at that orgasmic reaction That's, it gets from this oops. crowd. Now, breath assure is made of sunflower oil, parsley seed oil, and these are gelatin capsules with no preservatives. You just take three breath assure, and they're an internal breath freshener. And I see that you've got And you know what they'll do, too? There. They'll keep you regular. No. <laughs> this says nothing about keeping you regular. It's for your breath so you don't stink. Right. So you can get really <laughs> close to people, and this will improve your sex life. And speaking of sex life, I was Who, Nobody shopping. was speaking of sex life. Yes. Nobody said anything about sex life. Well, listen, I was to the store. And do you know what I'm noticing a lot of? No. What are you noticing well, a lot Well, I'm of? noticing a lot of condom merchandise. And, you know, we, we got a lot of calls. If you're watching our show a couple weeks ago, we had the candom, you know, which went over the can. I thought we'd forgot about that. <laughs> oh, no. I'm putting three tablespoons full of cornstarch in this pan. Okay. All right. this, was, is, this is a cooking show. Okay. When I was in the yeah. store, I found these. These are a great party item, and they're called sizzle sticks. And look what they are. Aren't they not, not nice? And so oh, God. I thought this was so great because you can use these and then when your date gets drunk, you have like a condom. God. I thought that was great. And then look at this. You're going to love this. Okay, you know how much you like cleavage? Look at yes. this. Oh, isn't you that You just nice? attach her to your thing and you can drink with her. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Is that, is that, Isn't that, that, that is just really I, nice. I just thought that was adorable. And then I found this for bald guys, and we're going to use this. It goes, watch me grow. And, and see, now this little guy has... Those are seeds. Seeds, right. So he's a little bald guy, and he, and he has no hair. And we're going to water him, and every week we'll look at him, and he will have hair. Isn't that great? But it will great. be grass. Isn't that nice? You think it'll really work? I don't know, but if it works, I may sprinkle some on some other ball people I know. I've been watering me for years. It doesn't help. No. No. And then I found this in the store, and I thought this was really, really cute. You know, because Big Al does a warm-up here every night, so I got him truly tasteless jokes. Oh, that's good. He needs those. And, you know, Stan yeah. the Trash Man, my husband's Polish, so we have heard every single Polish joke imaginable. But there's a whole section on Polish jokes here. It's, I mean, you want to hear a Polish joke? Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. How do you sink a Polish ship? 
I don't know. How do you sink a Polish ship? Put it in water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, I got these for Big Al. And so I was just in the mall, and I just was shopping, shopping, shopping. And then so I was in the bookstore, right? So I wanted something to read. You do a lot of shopping, don't you, Barbara? I do. I do a lot of shopping. Yeah. And I found this book, Nice Guys Don't Get Laid. <laughs> And so I just couldn't help God. but start to read it. And so I have a friend in New York I'm going to send this to. What does it say? <laughs> well, he's a nice guy and he doesn't get laid. He does. Well, no, it's, it tells you, like, if you're a nice guy, what kind of moves to make, what to wear, what to say, so that you can use one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Anyway, that was my shopping for the week, but I'm going to water this little man and see his hair grow. All right. So what are we making tonight? We're making curried chicken. Curry chicken? Curried chicken and peas on a bed of rice. Oh, wow. Yeah, and this is, this is, this is a chick a chicken breast, four chicken breasts. But it's kind of fat. Don't you pound it out? I cut all the fat off it already. No, no, fat like this. It's, I thought chicken breasts were... Skinny. No, these are chicken bread. They're, no, I cut all the fat, all the bone. Don't you usually pound these with a hammer? Not these, no. No? That's veal we pound with a hammer. Oh, okay. Look all like right. the same thing. We could. We could. We could pound them with a hammer. Would you like to pound them with a hammer? Well, then they would be flatter. Mm. But the recipe doesn't, would, would get, would, doesn't say that. What's this? That's chicken. What part is it, though? Well, that's part of the chicken breast. Oh, okay. That's the silicone. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is Newport Beach. Don't laugh. Oh, boy. John Smites is picking up his razor stubble or something here. Did you I shaved. Sh I shaved. Apparently, you didn't shave well enough. I shaved good. Well, you know what? It's because you have too many chins. Yeah, no, I don't. I've got, <laughs> I've got one giant chin. Well, this keeps on hitting here. Yeah. Well, that's because you it's know a, what? that one you giant chin. You know what? You went to chin. the doctor though, and they went like that. Look at that. Oh no, I'd miss it. I'd miss it. I really? love my wrinkles and my chins. Uh huh. Yes, yes. Hey, you need a tissue. I do tissue. Okay. We're Your out. Your nose is getting shiny. We're out. We have no more tissues. Yes, we do. No, there's one some down more the Kleenex. Down in the bottom. Thank goodness. I thought I was going to have to watch your nose run the whole night. Well, hey, so I hear you got this really neat award today. I did. You got did. an Adam and Eve Award? The wife and I got the Adam and Eve Award. We did. What is that? It's, a, it's just a, it's a good guy award. Did you have to, like, wear a fig leaf or something? No, no. I thought I might have to, and I was really scared. Why? Because those fig leaves aren't very big. <laughs> I was scared. Art Linkletter was there, and he is. He was. Yeah, Art Linkletter. He's very. He's got to be a hundred. No, no. Well, he's older than I am, but he's he's not a hundred. No, close. He's probably eighty. He's in good shape. Really? Yeah, terrific Better shape, shape than you. No, I wouldn't say that. Oh, no, okay. No, no, no. But he's in good. He's in good shape. He's in he's in good shape. But anyhow, we we, we was talking about the the Adam and Eve Award. That's a dumb name for an award. Why? And we got it. Well, it just is. And the award is an apple. It's a crystal glass apple. Uh huh. And I asked Art Linkletter. I said. The Adam and Eve, all the trouble started with something like an apple. And he says, no, he says, it, it, it wasn't that apple on a tree, it was a pear on the ground that caused the trouble. <laughs> That's what he's, in front of all these people he said that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, turn the, turn the fire on. <laughs> Which fire? On that big pan, oh, okay. right there. We should have had hey, that on a long time ago. You know what, you know how I'm always getting confused as to which pan to do. Boy, and you know I, I haven't done this, this dish at all, and I don't know where we're at or what we're doing. Well, it that's says, nothing it, it says right here in a large skillet, which we it have right here, there. It says here, chop scallions. Chop scallions. That's we'll do the that. first thing. Does it say the, oh, the first thing? And then it says in a, in, a, in, a, um, in a small bowl mix chicken breast and cornstarch. I well, did you that. Did, you did that did already. That. Okay. That. And then it says I should warm one Now, do one we want to use all these scallions or just part of the scallions? Just part of them. We don't want to use them all. Let's I don't know. Do what does it say here? It's five scallions. Yeah, well, well you know is... what? Then your breath's going to really stink, so you need breath assure. All right. Oh. All right. Now we got them chopped. What does it say to do with it? Okay. Them? So then we have to add oil to the pan and warm the oil. Warm the oil. Fire so is on. Can I do that? You may. Okay, olive oil. The fire oil. is on. This olive is, this oil. Is, this is Ralph's olive oil. You notice that? Okay. Yeah. All right. So we put olive oil in the pan. How much? One tablespoonful right now. Okay. 
Just right, just right. And then I swish it around so that it all covers the pan. See, that pan is now coated. Now we put in the scallions. Okay. You know, this is so simple, this is going to be done before we even start. Really? Is this, yeah, is this water boiling? This water's boiling. We've got to put the rice in. Now, what kind of rice is this? It's white rice. Now, stir it. Stir Where's it up a little spoon? bit. Where's my spoon? Where's my spoon? Stir it up a little bit. Okay. And then turn the fire off and put the lid on. That's that, that what do you call minute rice. Minute rice. Yeah. Okay. Now we got to put, this, put the scallions in. Put the scallions and, in. And, and whip them around. Okay. And then the garlic. Barbara, put the scallions in. Oh, no, I'm like watching them fry. Okay. And it says two cloves, but we're not going to use cloves because you got to peel them and cut them and everything. That's and this right. And is, this is already, uh, this is, uh, uh, what is this? This is minced garlic. Minced garlic. Okay, yeah. I have a question, and I don't know if you can answer me. How come some of these scallions ha are like tubes and some of them are solid? Well, that's the way scallions are built. That's just the way it is. And if you cook them long enough, they'll all turn into tubes. They all will be tubes? They will okay. all be tubes. Because yes. I like that tube effect. Yes. Okay. Well, this is very now, colorful. Now, it says you're supposed to, to saute the, the scallions until they wilt. Till they wilt. You know all about that. <laughs> okay, it's that limp thing. Okay. And then it says add the remaining two tablespoons full of oil. So we're going to do that. What are the remaining tablespoons? The way that's in the bottle. Oh, okay. Okay, that's, there we go. Okay. All right. All right. This is olive oil. Olive oil is supposed to be good for you, yeah. isn't it? Well, oil, I think, is oil. It doesn't make any difference. Oh. Well, yeah. you know what? I think oil, these are oil, just... Oil makes you fat. Oh, that's looking great. I think these are just wilting, though, because oh, there's oh, you, too you, much you oil. You didn't turn a fire off on them. What? We're in trouble. I think we burned our rice. Wow, look, it's cooked. That was like less than a minute. <laughs> well, the idea, Barbara, is, is you, you, turn the, uh, you turn the fire off and just let it sit. Oh, okay. It's a little scorched, but we won't worry about that. No, at yeah, least it's yeah. not clumpy. And you know if stuff gets scorched... I wonder what it tastes like. If stuff gets scorched, you just put a little, a little. Wait a minute! Wait a, a minute! This curry. is not cooked. These are like hard little kernels. Well, if you if you put the lid on them and leave it alone, they'll turn into, into like rice. Now they're all well, stuck in my teeth. All right. Okay, so you just add curry pepper to it. Uh oh, I got curry, one of these green powder. things in it. One of what? Okay. But you got to put the lid on. And put you know the what? Lid on. We're probably going to add a little water, too, because the, the, the water that was in there boiled away. Oh, it did? I think so. Okay, well, this is how you have to be creative in the kitchen. Yeah. You know, you can't we'll just go by these recipes. But you know what? When you add water, we got to let this run a long time. Why? Because this water is in a hose that goes out to the garden. Oh. And when, it, when the hose lays there in the sun, the water gets really bad. And I bet you the bugs crawl in the yeah, hose. Yeah, and it's Newport Beach. It's Newport Beach water, and it has bugs in it. Oh. And I think they hatch out when the sun shines on the hose. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so we now added the lid water and butter and curry. You're supposed to be stirring uh -oh. here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right. Okay, now these, um, I think we burnt this. No. Right? That, whoa. You know that's what? The water, that's the water we splattered in there. <laughs> no, that's this is all right. That's I need my frying glasses. That's because you got water. <laughs> You got water out of the out of the stuff in there. No, and this is burnt. Now what okay, do we do next? Can you see that? Is no, that, that is black? not burnt. Stir. That is like black yuck. Barbara, stir. Burn. That looks like sludge. I think I even need a glove. I'm burning oh. my fingers. Okay. Now we're gonna put the chicken in. Really? We really are. I think I need an asbestos suit for this recipe. No, we gotta put the chicken in. You know what I learned at the Golden Door? What did you learn okay, at the Golden Door? Okay, you're gonna Door? think this is so cool. You know how to do, le how you can tell your left and right hand really fast? N how you can tell your right hand from your left hand very really fast? Really fast, okay? If you go like this, it makes an L, and that's your left hand. Isn't that clever? <laughs> I did, I, wish, I learned that. I wish somebody had told me that when I was six years old. Because you know how I learned my, how I learned my right and my left hand? No. I would have to stop and get like I was writing, and I'd say, that's my right hand. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm losing a shoulder pad. It's like working its way down my arm. As long as you don't lose any of those other pads, you're all right. <laughs> Did you okay, see on it? the news last night, everybody's talking about that new Wonder Bra? 
No, I'm afraid I didn't hear you. You didn't hear see it. that? No, I'm afraid I didn't hear you. Oh, and I'm going Wonder to Bra. New York, so I'm going to buy one. You are? What's, yes, what I'm is going to New York Bra? this weekend. I don't know. It's like the latest craze, and it's all over New York. I think it's going to put plastic surgeons out of business. Really? Yeah. It, like, lifts and separates and shoves those puppies up. <laughs> Major cleavage. All right. You mean with no silicone? No. Really? Uh-huh. Well, if you buy the bra, what are you going to do with your silicone? You know, I just do not get a break here. I just do not get a break. What happens if you turn these over? Well, when they cook, we're going to turn them over. Oh, because they're getting brown it's on the side. It's a good idea side. to... <clears throat> Oh, was that kind of, let them, kind of let them cook a little oh, bit. Okay. It's nice. You know? Okay. Yeah. All now, right, do now. I pick off the black stuff? No. You, everything is fine. Just let them cook. Okay. Well, these are wilting. Okay. What's next? Now, it says here, add the... Stir the chicken broth. Add the broth. chicken breasts and cook until golden all over, two or three minutes per side. And you turn that over too soon. Okay. Wait a minute. What about the chicken broth? Well, we add that next. No, I don't think you did this right. It says now, see you, it says number four. Okay. Add the remaining two tablespoons oil to the skillet. Add the chicken breasts. Uh-huh. Cook until golden all over, two or three minutes okay, per side. Okay, we're doing that. Number five, that's five S comes after four, right? <laughs> Stir the chicken broth into the reserved cornstarch mixture. That's this. Okay, what's Where's our that? reserve, so let's do that's our reserved cornstarch mixture. That's right here. Okay. Oh, was that it? That's it. Oh, I just thought you were messing around in that pot. No, we were, we were doing the stuff. Oh, okay. It looks like you got more on you than it's in that pan. One and one-fourth cups. That's what I thought. Ooh, what's that white stuff on top? That's grease. It's on top of the chicken broth. Ooh. That's one and one-fourth cup right there. Okay. And then it says stir. I'm stirring. Which is like my job, okay? Right, you want to stir? Yes. All right, stir. Now, don't throw it all over the sink. God. All right. Now, I, you know, I, folks, I usually do this ahead of time, and I don't have to read this, but I had a busy day today, and uh, Well, sure, you're getting that get Adam time. and Eve thing, walking around yes. with a fig leaf on you, no Boy. wonder. Boy. Okay, so this now has gotten like a pukey-colored beige. Are you sure this is supposed to be this color? That's, that's exactly the color it's supposed to be. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now it is thoroughly stirred. All right. And now we're going to put that in. Now we're going to put that in the chicken. Is the chicken golden on the other side now yet? Um. Okay, golden on the other side. Well, this baby in the middle is like bloody. We're not worried about the middle. Okay. We're worried about the outside. Okay, the outside. It's yes, I would say that's golden. Kind of Would you? It's kind of golden. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay golden. Okay. Turn it over, or no? No, it's fine. Just okay. leave it like that. Okay. Now we got to we got to stir that a little bit. Okay. Okay, but now all this burnt stuff's like coming to the surface. The burnt stuff is what's good, Barbara. Okay. Well, I don't know because you know I'm now going to only eat spa cuisine. What's I'm never spa getting fat again. What is spa uh -oh. cuisine? Look what's happening. Something's wrong. That's cornstarch. That's cornstarch, and it's turning. Um, it's like getting like glue. That's right. It's cornstarch. That's what makes it good. Oh wow. Keep stirring. This is like a science experiment. Do this with your children in school. This is educational. All right. I think I want something that doesn't have holes in it, though. Wow, look at those bubbles. So this will get like a gelatin? No, it's going to stay just about the way it is. Oh, okay. Nice and thick and... Yeah. Okay, we're doing good here. Well, we're doing now good? This got, now this has got to I cook. never know if we're doing yeah, good oh, or not. Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is so good. Because, you know, ch plain old chicken breast is so dry and awful. Really? And you got to do something like this to make I it I don't good. know. You've been hanging out with the yeah, wrong chicken yeah. breasts. You know what? Yeah. Oh, that is looking terrific. Is that looking yeah, terrific? Looking, except I think we ought to have a little more. I don't know. There's we people only in the put, front we row put that a little look over, A little down. over a quarter of a cup. A little more chicken A little broth. more. Okay, okay. That didn't make it as gluey. That's all right. Okay, okay. So now what's our next step? I see you have other things there. We have that. We have this serving bowl. Let me get rid of some of this stuff but here. But what about the rest of, what about these peas? These go last. Those are the last. last. Are they cooked? It says, you're throwing stuff all over oh, my sorry. body. <laughs> I will yeah. go back to my stirring. Did you know that there is a lady here from the register who's a food critic? God, I hope not. <laughs> Boy, she got something to criticize. Wow. <laughs> you know what we're supposed to have right now and we don't have it? What? We're supposed to put the cover on this and let it simmer for five minutes. 
Really? And we, and we don't you have, don't have cover. a cover? Wait a minute, I must have something in here. Ta da! And Wonderful. It we fits. can watch Look it. Look at that. Well, I thought we could watch it. And then. Okay. Here's the rice. Ooh, yeah. it turned yellow. Well, that's the butter. That's the butter and the curry sauce. So we're going to put the rice on this okay. on this serving. So now batter. we're going to assemble our dish. Uh, you got stuff all over the thing. Oh, we want to keep, okay. keep the white, the rice reasonably white and nice okay. looking. You know, yeah. Okay. You know, presentation is everything it if is, you're cooking. It is. It is. Yeah. Okay. Can I flatten it out? Well, we want to kind of get it up around the edges so we got room for the chicken in the middle. But then see? you'll cover the pattern you of the dish. Well, that's the way it goes, yeah. Oh, okay. That, they put that pattern there so you could cover it. We're going to put a, about, a, about a half a teaspoonful of basil leaves in there, too. Really? Okay, and we're going to also turn the fire down. We just turned it up. Yeah, we'll turn it down but these now. aren't cooked. And you know what? If you eat raw chicken, you could die. Yeah, but if we put the lid back on now, they're going to cook. See? Are you sure? Well, it usually does. That's the idea. Okay. Uh oh, it's sticking to the pan. Oh, wait a minute. One more thing. One more thing. Peas. Okay, stir them up. Frozen peas. Frozen peas, right? Got it. All right. Trying to lump and clump on me, huh? Okay, just look at that. Barbara, you are the worst. The worst <laughs> stir. What are those? Golden raisins. Oh, that you'll make it look like there's bugs in this. No, golden raisins. <laughs> It says Where did one you half put the cup. Raisins? One half cup in the pan. In the simmering thing. Yes, yes, one half cup. Because it's kind of this is kind of an Oriental, like an Indian dish, you know. Well, you know what? We're almost out of time here. I hope so. Do you think this we is can, this has really been a dull show? Hasn't do you it? think we? <laughs> do you think we can kind of put this on our bed of rice? Get a shot it's of this. Of, and, oh yeah, you know what we can do? We can put it on the on a bed of rice, and then we can put it in the microwave and zap it a little bit, and then the chicken will be done. Okay. Because really, it looks terrific. Let's turn the fire off. Okay, turning the fire off. And then we'll put this here. Let me handle okay. it because that's a little heavy. You're just going to pour it on? This has got to be, well, kind of. This has got to be so good, though. Look at this. Oh, man. Do you think man. so? Look at that. I don't know. Doesn't that look wonderful? Uh-oh. Here comes Al. Look out. Oh, he's moving the breath of shirt oh, so people can nice. see. Isn't that nice? Yes. Oops. I'll tell you, though, you're going to need a lot of breath of shirt because you put a lot of garlic in here. No, we didn't. We just put a little bit. We just put a little bit. Okay, what a lovely presentation. Boy, I've this, never is, seen is anything this, like this anywhere. Is this pan? Is this pan getting heavy? Oh, that pan was okay, getting heavy. Okay, another successful no, dish. No, We're out of here. There we are. Cooking is strange, but what do we care? We just want to be there. I'm on the range with you. So what if John does the cooking and Barbara does the stirring? We like what we see, so keep on occurring. I'm on the range with you. John's dog Jack made us famous, you know. We cooked him some dog food right here on the show. Jack the dog is a celebrity now. We have to cook him a different kind of chow. They're gonna clap and cheer for us and do what's ever right. They always come to see us whenever they're in town. So we like to have our relatives from Anaheim around. Stan the Trash Man is watching the scene and making real sure that everything's clean. Brother Robert is there, so you won't go anywhere. You better be all right because security is tight. Big Al telling folks they better laugh at his jokes. And Manuel and Ken are the other two men who help you get going so we can start showing. Oh,